Around a week ago, I uploaded a video called This Scam is Huge, and it was talking about a game called The Day Before, and there was a lot of uh, suspicion around this game. It's the number one wishlisted game on Steam, which is great. I mean, the hype's real, but you know, there are a lot of bad signs. For example, the company that made the game, Fantastic, they had a really bad track record of releasing games and then not giving them any kind of aftercare or attention and leaving them for dead. Now, in that video, I went as far as to show examples that the game itself just might not even be real. It might just be a bunch of like assets put together, a vertical slice to make a game look real, to get a bunch of investor money and everyone hyped up for a game that doesn't exist. And then when they're about to release a huge 10 minute video detailing all the gameplay to prove all the naysayers, say is wrong they couldn't because they got into a legal dispute because apparently they didn't trademark the name of their game which is like the first thing that you do imagine having a company as valuable as mcdonald's and then some 12 year old goes to the copyright office and trademarks the name the thing is after that everyone's consensus was okay the game's fake it's not real let's wrap it up and go home but f fantastic said wait wait just a minute and they went ahead anyway despite them apparently not being allowed to and they put out a 10 minute gameplay video of the day before and this video was meant to prove to you the consumer that any youtuber or article complaining about this game were just mindless sheep do you think it worked why am i making the video someone cooked here You'd think having the entire weight of the world on their shoulders, they would have produced some amazing gameplay, even if it was just a vertical slice, a small section of finished gameplay. But I'm not joking you when I say this 10 minute reveal gameplay, it is just nine minutes of a woman running around, sometimes outside, sometimes inside. And then I think the last minute or so, they shoot some zombies. If this game was developed by Fantastic, it was published by A24 Film Studios, because I have never seen a better example of nothing happening the entire film until the last minute. Minute. The reception for this trailer was actually so laughably bad that people down in the comments section were actually theorizing that the developers chose a woman to be the player model so everyone would be staring at her ass for 10 minutes, completely distracted that there was no gameplay whatsoever. Honestly, myself, I was watching the trailer. I, I really couldn't gleam anything from it. This is the part where I break down each minute and go, lol, look at that. Look how lazy it is. They've got a really bare bones UI. It's very, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was just staring at her ass for 10 minutes. The only real thing I could remember is when her ass went off the screen and there was the narrator shilling you to buy the game. The day before, November 10th, 2023. The day before, it might not exist. Just give us your money. I do remember at one point though, they go through this big military checkpoint. Wait a minute, that looks like the same checkpoint from Tom Clancy's The Division, a 2016 game. <laughs> That's kind of suspicious. And this is when the floodgates opened because this is when the day before got the attention of Reddit. And the last thing you wanna do is get the attention of Reddit. Now, Reddit did what Reddit always does. They broke down every scene, every frame, every RGB pixel on their monitor to just try and understand what other games they probably also lifted from as well. They compiled all of it and then they found out that they yoinked from multiple sources. I'm not saying they yoinked from just one game. <laughs> There are at least three other AAA major titles that they completely stole from. And the worst thing about this as well, there are companies like NVIDIA that were actively shilling this game. If you go onto NVIDIA's YouTube channel, they're promoting how amazing this game looks with DLSS, ray tracing. Okay, let, let, I don't know whether they knew that the game wasn't real or not. I'm not saying that they knew. It's just not a good look. So you've got the post here that was put on Reddit. This is getting weird at this point with the development of the day before. You can see how the opening of the trailer is just a one-to-one -one recreation of the Black Ops Cold War Zombies reveal. Now, I, I'm not saying that they're stealing assets, but they're at least stealing the cinematography because these shots, they look exactly the same. And then you've even got, you know, a character on the right in a red room with a gun character on the right in a red room with a gun. It, it, they haven't stolen the assets because you need the engine to be able to do that, but they, they've clearly saw the Black Ops Cold War trailer. And keep in mind, Black Ops Cold War, that's a Call of Duty that's a couple years old now. There's been at least two more Call of Duty titles since. So it's... <laughs> It's almost like they thought, okay, if we steal from the last Call of Duty, maybe they won't notice. If we steal from Modern Warfare, they'll notice. I mean, look at this, this side by side. It's the, it's the exact same styling. You've got a guy in the front, flashlight, dimly lit room, kind of industrial container. Oh my God. They're just not even trying to hide it. <laughs> it's the 
same? Is it the same font? Okay, it, I don't think it's the same font, but it's, oh my God, it might be the same font. I'm looking at the the, I'm looking at the the, and it actually looks like it's the same font. And one of their most used screenshots looks awfully familiar to one with the division. So yeah, there you go, the, the, the division comparison. They even have the low angle camera. It really is almost like they have just purposely recreated that scene and then they've swapped a couple things around so they don't get called out for copying. And then you've got two more examples, uh, SnowRunner down there, just completely different game. Th this has turned into like a conspiracy now. Like we're trying to find like JFK or something. I feel like we've gone from a company that's trying to make a quick buck to, to this like shadow government. Uh, honestly, if FNTastic turned around and said the entire game was fake and this was a social experiment, I, I would, I'd admit, I, I believe it. I would definitely believe it. I just don't, like, like if they stole from Call of Duty and only Call of Duty, that would make sense. But they, they stole from like so many other games. One-to-one -one shots. And I get it, okay? There are so many zombie games like, you know, uh, Left 4 Dead, Daisy, And there are so many FPS games in general and so many like third-person action games. There was bound to be some kind of overlap, especially if, you know, post-apocalyptic big city. Like, like, I get that, all right? There are games like Fallout and Bioshock that have their own art style. Like, for example, Bioshock with Art Deco that you can't really yoink. But anything modern day, post-apocalyptic, it all kind of interchanges a lot. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I like as well, if you go onto the day before, I've got a plugin that shows dislikes. 20,000 dislikes. This isn't even in the, their own channel. It's GameSpot. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but the entire trailer literally is just a woman running around. And then you've got this UI interface, which is just really bare bones and simplistic. Like, like I get that simplicity looks really nice, but you still need to have some kind of art direction for that simplicity. You could argue this is placeholder, but yeah, it just doesn't look nice. It looks like something you get in like a, a Unity placeholder. And keep in mind, there's no watermark anywhere saying that this is like beta or early access. This could literally be the full game. But I'm happy to announce the cope does not end there. It has only begun because the developers are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they saw how poorly received the trailer was. They didn't do the typical thing where people have like a Twitter meltdown or they block replies or start blocking people. They uploaded a video onto their own channel called Playing the Day Before Short, where they record one of their employees playing the game because they are that down bad that they that people don't believe that this game is real that they've had to get this poor fucker here to play the game and and, and just act like he's enjoying himself imagine we have gaslit a company that bad into having to get a guy to play it and record him playing it just to check if it's an actual game i would i i i I almost feel bad for them. I almost feel bad for them. But also, I, I do like how this is gameplay here and like th th there's still nothing happening. You know, I'm not going to lie as well. In, in this example of playing the day before, there is more going on in this footage here than anything in that gameplay trailer. That was just woman with fat ass and yoga pants. Th this is like actual combat that's going on here. And this is what, a 40 second clip? And again, it's, it's, it's been disliked. It's been disliked into absolute oblivion. So yeah, I don't know what else is going to come out about the day before. It comes out the, the 10th of November this year. But again, like, there is so much controversy surrounding a game that hasn't even came out yet.